Hello and welcome to another video and Okay, let's state the obvious um, The last time I did a folder video was with the uh, It was with the Alton Towers folder wasn't it? Uh, I still have that folder in case you're wondering um, That was from a uh, Like early last year the time I started the uh, YouTube channel when I didn't have this camera when, when I had the iPod So you see we're going back a bit of a while Don't ask me why, why I didn't show this folder off And I don't ask me why I didn't show the other folders off either So that was a bit of a distraction We, had to, we just had the, the delivery But uh, hey, these things happen don't they? Right, so this is the Fungus Among Us folder Look, there's the logo on the front And they've got the same blue, blue red rip drop now, unlike the last time I did a video, this desk is a bit is a bit crammed. So I'm gonna to have to move a few bits out of the way first. So a uh, Super Zing Series Four box, with the characters in Super Zing Series Three box up the side. Um, that do it. Probably ought to move Sports Direct Merg to here. Probably should move the Sushi Changers box. Uh, actually, no, is that even worth it? No, that's not. I think, no, I think the sports bike mug will be alright here because I, I can just open it onto this part of the desk because this part is free now, as you can see. Alright, let's give this a look. Ooh, very interesting. So the first item in here is um, the Exterminator. Now, um, I think I've already done a review on this item, you know. But like like a not a product review, but more like a brief. Like I touched on it touched on it briefly. Um, the uh, there's different exclusive red fun guys you can get. This one this one is Fang. You can also get uh, like I said, Killer Bug and uh, Killer Bug and Hygiene. And I think the last time I I think the last time I talked about this item, I mistakenly said that you could get a red drip drop. But I think I might have been tripping on that. I don't think it was, uh, no, I think I made that up. I think that's just a placebo effect. I don't think you could get a red drip drip. I'm just, I don't know, I'm forgetting stuff. This is the um, Toxic Chamber with the green superbug in it, who looks fine here without a dis dislocated jaw. Uh, there's an exclusive CGI graphic here of the superbug, although half of it. Right, what's next? Vac pack from batch one. Um, this one, um, I have all the fun guys here in my in, in my um, possession. So something tells me this is the, this is one of the uh, parts of vac pack I got anyway. Like types. And then we have this thing I don't have. Fun guy mega pack contains ten fun guys and collector posters. So what that means is you'll get a poster showing the collection off. Um, which is basically like a massive checklist. I don't, I don't think it's anything special. This is supposed to be a, a ten pack. I don't think this was sold where in my region, which is region, which which is the UK. I'm not sure. I don't see a Toys R Us only sticker on here. I'm not sure. Um, top secret fun guy inside. There's a there's a hidden one behind here. Uh, I assume that was a super moldy character. Um, although I don't see any, uh, I don't see any radioactive ones here. I think these are all regulars. On, uh, unless that fang is radioactive, I'm not sure. Um, I do have all the characters shown here. Uh, actually, no, no, I don't. I don't have the regular sl slimy smiley. Actually, ooh, petri dish batch one. This one is just a two pack. Seen that? Now these ones, I'm not even sure if they were sold over here or not. One pack for batch one, which contained one fungi and one collector file. This one, I know we couldn't get, which is the. Uh, Another te a, a, a fungi ten pack, which contains three hidden characters. Um, again, all the characters you see here, I have in my collection, as you've seen already. And I know this one we couldn't get in here in the UK because it's got a Toys R Us only sticker on it. Plus, I never saw it anywhere here in my local shops. This one was only sold in the US. This is the Superbug set, uh, which contained a fungi one one Superbug, which is blind, the only blind Superbug. The only pack with, um, there was a pack with a super bug that is blind, plus six fun guys. Um, this is the only other set you could get with a super bug. Because um, originally, originally they were supposed to be exclusive to the Toxic Chamber. So I don't know what they were thinking, making them 
available in here too, which doesn't make them exclusive anymore. Then we have a thing I knew we couldn't get, which is the Batch 1 Biobuster Superset. Um, I saw for the longest time, and this was introduced with um, Batch 2, I don't know. Uh, anyway, you get a bat you get the uh, Biobuster figure. Um, do I have the green Haritosis in my collection, this one here? I'm not sure. But what I, no, I didn't uh, ever find was the Toxic Collection from Batch 2. I think I remember seeing this one being sold in uh, Toys R Us, but I'm not sure. Um, contains one Toxic Chamber and four Petri Dishes. This is basically just a, an overstock pack, basically. Contains four Petri Dishes and one Toxic Chamber. Um, yeah, an overstock pack. You know, you know a pack that uh, puts some spare Petri Dishes that they may or may not have kicking around. Um, next is... Um, this backpack, um, which has regular, um, Bandadrian, regular, um, Trout Pout, and Easy Flow. What can I say about Easy Flow? Well, here's a battery with wires sticking out in it. And it's just occurred to me that I'll need to check this for some of the names I can't remember. Anyway, we'll, we'll focus on that later. Anyway, this is the Yuck Truck. Uh, this is what it looks like in its packaging, as you can see, it came with um, a fungi whose name is Fludgeball, but um, its name isn't anywhere on this box, it's not in any of the promotional material aside from that one Argos catalogue. Uh, so maybe he was supposed to be one, one of those unnamed fungi, but I see. he wasn't meant to have a name, but it ended up being one of those unnamed characters. Okay, we have the Batch 2 single pack, this is it's the same as the, as the Batch 1 version, but I accept I didn't find it. This is Batch 2 three pack which has a clear background and not a yellow one i can't see the characters included with this pack so i can't really talk about it too much i can have a talk about the uh, 15 pack which can be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 i think there's no no i think there's one hidden one i don't know three hidden ones i'm not sure Ooh, three uh, this suggests there's three specials anyway the characters um that I don't have in my collection are um, Shredhead here, who's like this, who looks like a lettuce monster, but he's not. Regular, um, regular antihistamine. Regular toes one, to, uh, toe gym. Regular sandy pits. Regular easy flow. No one character I don't have altogether, and another character I don't have altogether is uh, this one, who is. Rusty Sparks, I think. There's a circuit board, a live circuit board. This is a Toy Fair display from when Batch 2 was about to come out. Um, I don't think there's anything new extra here, apart from the fact if you look closely, you can see prototype version of this Batch 2 vac pack. You know, the one where they can't have it all packaged like this. So it's just a literally just a big picture. It's just a picture with different of the different characters of them. There's no actual characters in it, it's just a picture. That's how prototypes work. Um, this is another part with the same kind of thing going on for the uh, Batch 2 15 packs. Um, I think by this time, Batch 2 was very nearly, very near completion. I think they fixed all the, uh, I think they got the character designs, colours ready. I think they were ready to release at the time, but uh, again, that, that's prototype. Still a prototype, it's not, it's just a box, there's no... Um, it's just an insert with the characters. There's no actual characters. No, there's no actual um, fun guys in there. Anyway, this is uh, the um, the prototype version of the Yuck Truck. Now I call this one the prototype version because well, the packaging looks a bit different because there's no um, space for the exclusive fun guy. Uh, there's a sticker on the. There's two different stickers on here actually. If you look, there's a sticker that says Summer Hammer and there's a sticker. On in here that's different um, and if you look fudge ball here isn't gray he's blue so that was a difference so uh, just gotta do a jump quick so, so I can get some the, the batch one two check two and three checklists quickly okay that was quick I have the checklists on the back of the vac packs I showed you before so anyway let's carry on this photo is the same radioactive mega pack I showed you radioactive mega pack I showed you before this is the cryo chamber and it's packaging with some series 3 CGI going on, batch 3 CGI. This is the slammer hammer and it's packaging. This is a the toxic barrel and both these characters here I don't have. These are contaminated magnetize. 
Magnet eye. Oh, I've, I've just realised. Magnet eyes, as in blink, sounds like magnetise, as in that. So that's clever. Magnetise eyes, magnetise actual magnets. You know, metallic. That is clever. I've only just realised that. Very well done. And this character here is Pal Amino, who is uh, in the regular colours. As you can see, he looks like a white colour. Seriously, magnetise. Flipping heck. I didn't spot that before. I probably just moved that along. Right, moving on. I do remember. I do remember getting two of these. These were the. Uh, I got them from a local Tesco. Actually, it's the one in handling. If you're wondering, this one is um, batch three, two pack. And uh, I can't remember. I can't remember, but I think the characters I've got in here were. I think it was uh, Metalloid Pal Amino. Oh, and it might, and the other one might have been, oh, I remember that, it was a, a Metal Lord Rusty Waters. Did I get a regular, did I get a regular, I'm not sure. I got Rusty Waters and Pal Amino in that, I think, I can't remember. This one, this Fungal Mega Pack with Batch 3, the characters on here, I think, do a, I do apologise if I'm not 100%, but the characters I don't have are Major Tyrant, who's like this uh, ant. Uh, this one is Bum Bumbelina. He's like, I'm not sure what who they are. Um, this one's regular Vincent Van Kolf. This one is uh, Oh Terry. He's like a goat of some kind. Um, uh, who are the other ones? Let's see. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Right, so this one here is meant to be, where is he, Poop Shoot, who's like this uh, shoot thing, like a pipe. I can't tell who this one is, gonna just give a quick look on the checklist. Give me a sec. Oh, I, oh, I think he might be Rat Scat, I think, he's like this rat. But I can't tell. I think he's Ratscat. He looks a he looks a lot like Ratscat does on the checklist, so I think that's him. We have Batch 3 Backpack, Metalloid Major Tyrant, R Terry. Uh, this one is Grimy Smith, who's like this Apple Core. And this one right here, this one is Brown Owl, I think. He looks like Brown Owl. I'm not sure what, what he is. This one's a personal poster for Toy Fair. Jan 2016, which I think was one year after Batch 1 came out. It's just about around the time Batch 2 came out in the UK, I think, so America. Now some prototype stuff now. This one's the prototype vac pack. Back then, back in prototype stage, it was called DNA Mashup. And also back then, they um, I didn't think they wanted to do... They wanted to do limited edition fun guys. And they included them in this pack, which would have, I think, would have put them above... Would have put them below Moose, you know, for profit, but I would have put them up in popularity with the kids, you know, being, being, being able to get all the uh, special shiny metallic ones. And this is a prototype exterminator. I think the uh, difference is here is that it looks longer. This is longer. Um, and this hasn't got a launcher, but rather it has like a dial on the end, so that's a thing. We have another Toy Fair display. This one has. Prototype Batch 2 Funk uh Zip Bye Buster Super Set. Then we have some VAC packs here. Who are the characters I don't have from this? Regular Doughy, Radioactive Vitamin. Is that it? I think that's something that might be regular hygiene, I'm not sure. We have another VAC pack. Regular slimy smiley there. Um and another VAC pack. This is a very variation of the one I did eventually. The, that's my first fact pack, you know, the one with the metallic the, the, the radioactive shield and Festa. Um, of course, I got the, the only, only one I don't have in here is radioactive uh, Rachna Code. This one got all the characters from here, got all the characters from this one. Yeah, I think that's the radioactive Biff in there. Hang on. I am missing regular funky fakes from this pack. Got all the characters from this one. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is, uh, this backpack is 
regular, these are both from Batch 2, these are all going to be from Batch 2 actually. This one has regular germafrost um, and metal and um, radioactive fingerlichin. Uh, this one has anti back jack, who's like this um, anti back thing, uh, and radioactive rubby in it, plus the other two circuit board and feet character I have. I don't have these packs. Um, I have, I know I have this one. Is this just, uh, I think that's anti back jack. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to give it a closer look. I that looks like anti back jack to me. No, oh no, it's not. Oh, that's an anti back jack. I think that might be cough man. No, Boogaloo. I think, I think that's Boogaloo. These guys are missing so much paint, which makes it hard to tell who they are. Uh, I think that's Radioactive Crud Nugger. I think that's regular Bugsy. Um, I can't tell. Oh no, that's uh, Radioactive Giddy Plop, I think. I'm not sure. Sorry. Okay, um, Petri Dish Batch 2. This one is Radioactive Ruby. This one is Splutter. It's like this weird storm cloud. Mortal Backpack Batch 2s. Uh, can't tell who he is. Uh, there's a regular um, Crust Buster. Um, regular Bubbles. R regular Coughman, who's like this germ, germ geezer. Um, this one is... Symbol, who's like this pond slop or something. And this one is... Right here, this one is... Sobber Chops. Oh, more rack packs. Uh, we, oh, we've seen this one already. We have. And this is a... Th these, are, these are all going to be batch 3. One. Oh, oh, no. This is the um, last picture. This is the batch 3. Right, so who are you? This one, I think you are... Um, your junior leavings. Not sure who he is supposed to be. This one is pesticide. Who's like this... Uh, um, very good name, kind of pesticide. Who is, um... Oh, no. Don't know who he is. Gonna have to give him a look. On the list of almightiness. Um... Who is he? Who is he? He's not... Uh, no, don't know who he is. Oh, let's give it a closer look. Hang on. Hang on. And then Kitchen one the rest of this stuff is just grocery gang. I think I might get around to doing this bit when I eventually get around to doing the grocery, grocery gang stuff, but I'm not sure. Who are you? We don't know. Let's see, let's take a look at the checklist. Uh three pipe for the bottom. I never usually get this lost for um, hunting. Who is the other one? Who's the other brown uh, siding on so much stuff? Oh no, this one is Slarky Mark. He's a slug. But then, who is this one? This one right here, who is he? Hang on. Give me a minute. We're nearly there, I hope we're nearly there. Hmm. I don't think he's a ray matter, I don't think so. I'm taking a lot of time here. Not Scottle Pop, I don't think. I'm not sure. My only guess would be it's ray matter because. It's, um, no, it's not Rain Matter, but not sure. Who is he? Hang on. Milk Raker? No. No, I really can't tell. I promise I'm not lying. Bumbleina? No. I need to medic? No. He doesn't appear to be on this checklist. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Hmm. Not doing any leaving, surely not him. 
can't be artery. Gonda pass. We, okay, so we know he's got yellow eyes. So maybe that, maybe that should uh, tumble down. No, that can't be him. Chubby Grub. No, not him. Scuttlepup. Not him. Hmm. I'm not sure, but they might be Bumbleina. Probably. I'm not sure. I'm just going to just back of shape here. Um. I might have to. Do, I might have to do an edit and say who the missing character is. I've got no idea who they are. So when I eventually get around to editing this, I'll, I will take a look and I will put like a text box in. Um, I've got seriously, I've got no bloody clue who that character is. I mean, she doesn't appear, he or she doesn't appear anywhere on this track. There's still like a vague shape representing them. But I will take a look on the thing. And I think the main problem here is that um, I'm just going on the back of concept art. I'm not going to back on, I can't tell what the figures look like because don't forget they didn't update the website. So I can't tell. Uh, but what I do know is that this makes for a nice hat! Hey!